back healthy tonight. Um, just your thoughts on how unique a challenge this is for you guys. Yeah, big big challenge. You know, down down bodies and uh, back to back. <clears throat> um, you know, we we are being challenged in general during this stretch of the season with uh, with a bunch of injuries, but uh, that can hopefully provide us an opportunity, an opportunity to grow resolve and get tougher. And uh, tonight, Toronto's going to have some some excellent players, some winners, some guys that will test us. So, um, you know, we got to be prepared to play well and have a good start. Blake available, second half of back-to-back. How will you utilize him and, and manage his minutes? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's not ideal, um, but with the with the amount of body, healthy bodies, you know, we we talked it over and we decided that we'll, you know, he's wanted to play in the back to backs, um, so we're we're gonna see how it goes and hopefully we try to limit his minutes, but it's a difficult thing to 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 do in practice, but uh, we definitely don't want to you know overexpose him on his first back to back in a long time. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Steve. I'm curious if you have uh, any further clarity on uh, Kevin's status and his situation and uh, whether you think he'd be ready to play by Friday. He is day to day. So I think um, <clears throat> Friday or Sunday are very possible. I'm not sure when it would be, but uh, or if it would be either of those games, but he is day to day. So if he keeps progressing at this rate, I think Friday or Sunday are, are very possible. Greg Logan with Newsday. Uh, Steve, have can you provide any uh, details on uh, why Perry is out of COVID protocol, but uh, Claxton is still in it? I am not certain of the situation, uh, or I'm not sure if I'm, you know, if I'm up to date on exactly how that's happened. But uh, I do know that Reggie is available and that Nick is pending uh, more tests. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Steve, just a little bit bigger picture, I guess, at this point in the season. Is it more important, less important when you're looking at trying to keep the team together, even when guys are off and different for different reasons, to have everybody or most people around more often? Does that make sense? Uh, As far as just the group traveling together, do you mean? I mean, traveling together, having people around for practice, this, that, and the other, even if it's not coming into fruition on the court, like having, you know, James there when he can be and Tyler there when he can be and this, that, and the other. No, in an ideal world, we have the whole group together all the time. You know, it's diff- it's tricky. You know, for example, our team meeting yesterday in New Orleans, you know, two guys are off getting scans. So, you know, it's like uh, there's always something that comes up and it makes it difficult. But as long as we have that, you know, connectivity and trust in one another, which I think we've formed, you know, it's not, I don't think paramount that everyone's there for every single moment, but I do think that the more time we get to spend together, the more our bonds will grow and the more we'll trust each other, the more we'll feel, you know, a <clears throat> uh, willingness to, to do the extra mile for one another. So I think it's positive when everyone's around, but it's, I don't think it's, it's realistic to think it's always going to happen and nor is it necessary. Stefan Bondi with the New York Daily News. Hey, uh, Steve, um, whenever uh, Kevin Durant comes back, whether it's the next game or somewhere down the line, what's the plan for him in terms of, um, you know, are you going to take it slow? Are you going to put him in the starting lineup right away, 30 plus minutes right away? Or is it going to be a slow ramp up? I haven't I haven't actually thought about it yet. I'm and that's a discussion to have with Kevin and performance and make sure that we're all on the same page. you know, he was just kind of creeping out of his ramp up. And so how much this sets him back or doesn't, I'm not totally sure. So I think that's something I'll we'll have to monitor and make a decision on when the time comes. Michael Grange with Sportsnet. Hi, Steve. Hope you're doing Hi. well. Thanks. Yeah. Um, you know, just, just following along and, and, and you're, who knows when you're going to have your big three and let alone your whole team together. Is there anything in that? Is there any kind of analogy to maybe some of your experiences you had playing internationally for Canada where guys would sort of kind of arrive, spend a limited amount of time together and then have to peak for a big international events? Like, or is that sort of a reach on my part? Um, I wouldn't have made the analogy just because it feels like totally different environments, but I'm sure there are some, you know, things are analogous. I mean, we could, 
you know, uh, end up having guys in and out for, for the, the rest of the way, you know, not just this regular season or the playoffs, you just never know. So I think our ability to adapt, and that is something that when you play international basketball, you are constantly, I think often you are constantly adapting uh, to guys being in and out or who, who's coming and when they're coming and all that stuff. So I would have never uh, made that analogy because they're different competitions, but uh it, it that is a similar there are some similar veins there and that they it's not so linear and that it is kind of the only difference is that playing for your country is always kind of secondary to your day job so you you go off and play and then your your availability is more dependent on your day job so to speak and so here this is the day job and and so uh you know i don't, i wouldn't have made that analogy but there are probably some some you know similarities Back to Michael Grady with Yes Network. Uh, another quick one on on Blake, Coach. I'm, I'm just curious from your standpoint, knowing um, how you've had to manage Blake, do you, is it a combination of getting excited, but you also hold your breath when you see him not hesitate to dive for loose balls or step in and, and take charges out there for your team? Well, I love it. You know, I love I love the intensity and the, the fire he brings. You know, he, you know, this is a guy who, you know, carried his teams for much of his career. And for him to, to come off the bench many nights, for him to, you know, be diving on the floor, taking charges, being aware defensively to rotate and and do all those things that he's provided for us, you know, that that that's fantastic. It shows that he's he's happy to be here. He wants to contribute and he wants to find ways that he can contribute that don't just, um, you know, emulate the, the traditional you know, superstar. So he's still capable of scoring. He's still capable of making plays and rebounding, but his hustle and his intensity and his willingness, I think has been, you know, really great for not only our team, but it's rubbed off on his teammates. So I think we're, you know, taking a ton of charges since he's arrived. And that's something that we weren't doing before he arrived. And so you know, I think he, in more ways than one has influenced the group in a positive manner. Steve Lichtenstein with WFA. Hi, Steve. Uh, what is the latest as to the traveling parties, vaccinations, and have you received clarity from the league based on the new health ga- guidelines about whether certain protocols can be relaxed? You know, I think there is there is a bunch of things that are, are relaxed if you've been vaccinated. I'm not as abreast of them as I probably should be. And in, and in some ways, you know, the, the protocols have changed, not just if you get a vaccination, but coming out of all-star break, they heighten things. The certain, certain stretches in the first half, they heighten things. So um, heightened and relaxed, I kind of just try to stick to, you know, what I, you know, the, the bare minimums and, and keep it there and not try to think too much about what extra stuff I can do now or not do just because, uh, you know, you're it's, it's such a routine. I Just trying to stick with it and keep moving and trying to help this team uh, reach its best level. Thanks so much, coach. We appreciate it. All right. Thanks everybody.